Okay, good evening, good morning, depending on where we are in the world. So one of the topics I want to talk about today is why so many people, when they reach the age of 50 or 45, 50, 55, some start thinking they're gone past it. And the reason why I am keen on this topic is because I am 61 myself and I don't feel like I, I have gone past it. So Maria, in your opinion, and by the way, guys, if you like this kind of topic, don't hesitate to press that little bell below and you will see a lot of videos on self-development. So what do you think, Maria, in your, in your, in your mind? Why so many people around that age think they've gone past it? Why is that? Hi, Roger. Thank you for inviting me to, to uh, take part in this uh, video. Uh, why people over 55 are thinking they are past it? I believe there is several reasons for it. And one of the reason is, reasons is that they might be tired with the uh, careers they have had in the past. And they decided that they're going just to relax and do nothing. But I think this will be a very small percentage of people. Oh, right. Okay. In my, in my observation and my uh, experience, I would say this majority of people and and again this would depend on the culture we are living in okay but let's let's take united kingdom from my observation in united kingdom most of the people who retire at age 50 55 yes. they retire because they want to travel uh yeah my brother is like that because he's not been lazy in his life he had a good life he had a good career mm -hmm. he's going to retire in about two years time and they've gone to the because in france there is no confinement they can go on holiday i mean some companies are still closed that kind of thing but they travel all all the way from Angers in the Loire Valley to the Alps so that's right across France the four of them his wife his daughter and her boyfriend and so they all drive in turn but he said I love driving anyway so he said that to me earlier and then uh, so they went to the Alps so that's really about 600 miles if not a bit more so yeah uh, and then so that's what he wants now he wants his holidays and he's going to go all over France and that yeah. and that's what he wants to do so majority of people would say okay I, I, I want to travel there will be some percentage of people who will say okay um, I want to move out of United Kingdom and they would probably invest in a property in Spain and retire in Spain and just just for the sake of having the the sun and, and the vitamin D and I think the major issue here yes. is that people do not have goal no interests as such they seem to feel that at age 55 life is ending uh, professional life is ending yes. and they don't have to do anything because they maybe have some savings uh, maybe they they just want to be a grandparent if they have children and grandchildren and they don't seem to think that keeping their brain, their mind occupied with a variety of things, activities such as a business, such as self-education, uh, is the thing that they want to do. Right, okay, that's interesting. Yeah. There, is, there is an organization which is called the University of Third Age. Oh yeah, I've heard of it. Is that in this country, all over the world? They are all over the world and they have, they are great at organizing variety of activities and short courses for people who are over age 50. Okay. And what, what they do is they do art classes, language classes, and they do uh, some uh, research classes, variety of activities. Yeah. But if we, if we look at the whole spectrum of people who are age 50 and above, you will you can sort of find a small chunks of percentages out of that whole group yeah. that there will be some people starting in business because they have worked all their life and they have saved money because their belief was that if you want to start a business you need to have x amount of money so when they when they are 50 they start business ventures but this is a very small percentage of people and there will be some people who will say okay i am now ready to travel so let's move to Spain and, and whatever. Again, very small. Great majority of people will be like you say, Roger, I am burnt out. Yeah, that's true. I, I've heard that. And that's what my brother said. I mean, bless him. I love my brother. He's a very nice guy. Mm -hmm. He's got an absolutely fantastic family. We are lucky, actually, on the French side of the family. We are very well surrounded and everybody supports each other in the, in the, on the French side of the family. So very blessed. 
uh, for that. But yes, he said exactly what you said. He's burned out. He's got enough. Yeah, and then his wife retired earlier because she's quite fragile uh, health-wise as well. Uh, she's 61 as well. She's my age or maybe one year more. I can't remember. Anyway, and uh, but yeah, she's, she was burned out. So she's absolutely, absolutely over the moon. She's retired. She's going to have two grandchildren. They are going to be born in April, I think. Maxim and his wife, they're both doctors. And... <clears throat> And his wife, she was not supposed to be pregnant, to get pregnant, but she, she's expecting twins. And uh, she, uh, so they are going to be born in April. I think it's two boys or two girls. I can't remember two boys or two girls. I have to ask my dad tomorrow, I forgot. And they know the sex of the children. And <clears throat> so on this side, it's good. But my brother is burned out, yeah, work-wise. So he's happy if we what... Uh... But you see, we, we all get burnt uh, out uh, from time to time. Mm -hmm. And that is why the, uh, the holiday period have been uh, devised but the other thing is if we have a passion yeah. if we have uh, something that we are absolutely passionate about then the age doesn't matter because we will be doing everything possible to go and do what, what we are passionate about because that is the time where we are actually resting yeah. resting our mind and resting our body that is so important when when we come out of work that we don't like and and as you know very well roger majority of people is actually doing work that they despise that they they are not really cut out for therefore they are burning themselves out simply because they have been sticking to something that is not them yeah it's true yeah you know if you look at yourself age 61 like you said uh, you are very active mm -hmm. you are doing so many different things yes. uh, and it keeps you going the way it does actually uh, uh, I have a sister who will be uh, 70 years old this April oh yes and she is a very highly active person Nice. Uh, she she has uh, allotment. She works with young children. She works with the charity organization. She is involved with a retired uh, people organization. Uh, she is looking after her grandchildren. She's looking after her husband who is unwell. She she cannot live without doing things yeah. because she is passionate about being active yeah and i think that's probably the right word here we're talking about it doesn't matter what age you are absolutely i had when i when i used to run a social club i had a barmaid that was 80 years old oh right so you also used to employ somebody yes and, and lady. this lady was 80 years old Whenever she was in the bar, the, the uh, visitors to the bar were huge and at all ages because she was so loved by different, from the youngest children right up to the oldest members of the community, yeah. everyone loved her. Because she and, was she was, yeah, and she was so bright, she was so active. If you would walk the street with this lady, she was 80, you would have to run behind her. That's how fit she was. Yeah. She was fit in her mind because she was doing different activities. Yes. She was, she was counting the, the cost of the drinks in the bar. Then she would be going home and doing different physical activities. Then she would be going uh, up the ladder and, and painting her house and stuff like that. It was amazing to watch a, a, a hugely positive character, hugely passionate and loving people. And, and she was forever active. She, she only uh, gave up her life at age 95. Wow, 95? 95 and she was still very very active right that's very interesting what you're saying because the um, my stepson well, is married and uh, his wife's dad i don't know what work he did in the past but he's 77 years old he gets up every morning at five o'clock and because he's been used to it all his life and he worked at a news agent monday to friday because he just loved working exactly yeah, and he, he, he's there, yes, and he works, so he, he gets everything. Well, you can imagine, uh, a news agent, how busy they can be, 
and there is a lot of work when you run a shop like that and it's just there. If you go to Christie Hospital in Manchester, which is an oncology, a world famous oncology hospital, you will notice that all of the ancillary staff who are helping patients with different things are people who are well over 70 years old. Interesting what you're saying. And they are keeping young because they are feeling needed by other people. They, they want to give something from themselves because they don't want to sit at home and watch TV or, or or just sit and doing nothing. They want to be out there meeting people. You know, they never look 70, they never look 80. And some of them are beyond even 80 when, when they are. When we keep our brain active, we can live much longer. Absolutely, this is what our brain activity is the key thing. Absolutely, this is why I'm hoping we can play table tennis soon in the in the. Table so do I. I've, yeah. I've got my tennis rackets and everything ready. So you, yeah, your table tennis bat or racket. Yes, yes, yes everything ready. I had an argument with Brad in the past when she was in. No, it's not about. Uh, no, I said to her, it's not about this racket. It's a racket sport. No, that she wouldn't have it. So we are the we are the. <laughs> and and the the other thing which is very important news, Roger. Yes. is that uh, about October time, scientists in two of American universities and Oxford University yes. have confirmed that now people who are age 60, okay, yes. 60 to 70, they are then now middle aged people. They are no longer old people, they are middle aged. So can you imagine a few years ago, 40 plus yes. was a middle age. Now, now 40 plus is still young. Yeah, very young, yeah. And, and 60 uh, plus is the middle age. So yeah, that's we've that's got plenty of opportunities yeah. to be active, yeah. to be helpful to the community, to be to be uh, creative, to be um, proactive and do a lot of things. We can actually sell our experience. We can teach others. We can write a book. We yeah. can write story, we can uh, write a screenplay, a film sc uh, script, whatever. We can do so many things to leave legacy. Mm, absolutely. But it's interesting because uh, we've been talking about maybe we've got a few minutes left. Yeah. And uh, when I went to the hospital for my appointment with the uh, specialist with regards to my hernias and all that, and then when the uh, when she came over to me, she was very dynamic. She did not look uh, 30 or 40. She was definitely more much over that. Uh, probably about my age, about I think so, uh, maybe 55 plus. It was difficult to say, but she was definitely no, not young as the way we see it. I'm sure she was around 60, definitely. But she was so dynamic. And then when she said to me, "Wow, oh, you have an electrocardiogram coming up. No, I'm not going to take the risk. So she explained this and that and the other. She was straight to the point, which I like that very much. And so no missing a man, no going around the, around the houses and all that. Boom, straight to, to the point. Even if you don't like it, well, tough. That's the way it is, you know. She, and then, but she was very young. Uh, when I say very young, very dynamic. But she didn't definitely didn't have a young body in the way we see it, and then uh, and so I like that, and then yes, and then my dad the other day said to me, when you see me the ledge, I'm glad you I can confirm what my dad did said to me the other day. I said to him, you know, you only halfway through your life. That's very true. Yeah, and I'm 61, so yeah, I am halfway through my life. So definitely. But uh, if you allow me to add something which is very important, I think. Yeah, please do that. Um, the, the scientists and, and obviously people who are researching the, the, the way our brain is working um, uh, have already confirmed that the fact that our brain needs to be active. And by if we are sitting and watching television, mm -hmm. our brain is, is uh, basically uh, losing some neurons. Okay, because our brain must be active, and when we when we uh, activate our brain, we need to activate it by doing different tasks during the day. Okay, <laughs> so for instance, reading, uh, crosswords, uh, a, a game board, maybe a game of cards, whatever, what or or even some physical uh, activity. We need to have our brain constantly uh, motivated to act 
and create new habits. Because when, imagine yourself, you would be sitting every single day for three, four hours watching television at home. Yes. Okay. Sipping tea, coffee or whatever you would be drinking. Okay. And you watch Coronation Street every day. Uh, maybe EastEnders, maybe some other soap operas. Every single day, the same thing. Your brain is getting used to it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, it carves a groove in the brain, which is like a, like, it's like a drug. Yeah. It will require that soap opera every single day. It's, it, yeah, your brain re requires that, then you watch yeah. it. Yeah, so if you only do that, then your brain is getting slower and slower and your body at the same time is getting slower and you are from a flower mm. blooming fully you are becoming a dried up little bud right. which eventually dies yeah yeah, yeah. And I, so it is important if we are 55 and above it is absolutely vital that we keep our brain occupied and moved with different things so exercise definitely walk do a kinesthetic exercise do qigong do things that really really make you active if you look at the chinese community community here in england if you ever are near Chinese people who are over 60 mm -hmm. and maybe a Chinese uh, uh, care home or even if you have neighbors Chinese who are over 60, watch them in the garden at 7 a.m. around that between 6 and 7 a.m. going out and exercise. Right, that's interesting. Yeah, interesting. Be because they know that exercise is absolutely vital for our body and for our brain. Yeah, no, it's absolutely true. Yeah. So, guys, on this one, on this positive note, out there, guys, uh, I would like to know about your experience. Uh, all the even the younger generation is not just uh, meant. Uh, this video is not just meant for the 50 plus. Everybody can watch it. And then, if you have any experience and how to stay active. Please comment below. Let us know. That will be fantastic. And then we will I'll reply to all the comments anyway. I'll take time for it. And uh, yeah, just please do that. And one thing as well, guys, do not forget to press that little bell so you can get notifications of the next videos. So thank you, Maria, for joining me tonight. It was, I really enjoyed this talk. Okay, it was very motivating, very positive. You're very welcome. So guys, bye for now. See you next time. Bye-bye.